everyone, and welcome back. We are back in the hidden area here with Master Bruce Paul Hamlin, the new apprentice who's not allowed to leave. We have some work to get done. He's f uh, first things first, we need to get some of these myths incantation incarnations even. Light some wards in the fog and grab some jade and a ruby. I'm sure there'll be baskets over here. So, let's get started. I have been worrying about this, but I'm sure we can get a job done quite quickly. by 45%, damage increased by 30%, and can't stop the pain visible. Hmm. Interesting. an orb of fog weird. I think we could just kill a couple of critters. That's unfortunate. But it might be that big. signed a non-disclosure agreement, so even if I wanted to tell people what it is about, I haven't got a clue. the hunter god 
sekarang mau tiga berarti minus haste global mau tiga Isn't having a good time. Pauses for a moment to rub the leaves on her swollen pores. Thank you. I can prepare a proper ointment later, but this will do for now. I'm glad you boys aren't hurting as much. Now, as to who's paying you, I hope you must you follow direction as well. Thank you. You do not meet the requirements for her quest. Interesting. Okay, well, please. People and they get the necklace of three sins, which is better than what we've got. Now, when you progress in your training, I think, come with me, you will attempt the trial of wood. If you successfully strike the stack of wooden blocks four times, let's pop on that necklace. Okay, that is us already. Good practice to fall. over at Lin Yun. I can sense your anxiety, but you are not ready yet. Your training must continue before you perform the final test. As for your task, I need you to fetch me some eggs. Yeah, eggs. The marshland atop the hills to the east is home to a number of birds, all of which are generally peaceful in nature. You should have no trouble gathering enough eggs to last me several weeks. So I need to obtain 10 opera turn eggs, 4 white fisher crane eggs, and 1 hornbill strider egg. Mm. Eggs. Come on. Mm. Let's, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look.
any two more turn eggs. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, there we go. This should be enough eggs for especially that massive one. An interesting quest that. What do you think about it? It is just fairly passive mobs. It doesn't really happen very often. of the Mogu dynasties, Pandaran slaves were not permitted weapons of any kind. When training in secret, Pandaran monks would often use farm tools or simple bamboo staves for practice. Emphasis was also placed on unarmed strikes. In contrast, the favoured weapons of the Mogu were based on fear rather than practicality. They were large, cumbersome and difficult to wield. Pandaran monks took advantage developing fast strikes and the skill to quickly move around the battlefield. The larger, slower Mogu were often completely disoriented by the speed of the Pandaran monks in open combat. Over the years, fighting styles have changed dramatically, incorporating any number of other abilities, weapons, styles, etc. But the core foundations of Pandaran fighting techniques remains the same. Defeat an opponent of any size with your bare paws if you have to. Very interesting. Now, who's ready? How is your egg hunt going? Well, that's alright. Now, you know why I don't gather the eggs myself. Shall we continue your training, of course? It's a shame we had to mute that, that was quite a nice little bit of music. <laughs> uh, unyielding fists, now it's the trial of stone. You have accomplished much in the short time you've been here, Thundercore. I would not normally offer this test so soon, but I feel that you're ready. It is trying. It is time you attempted the trial of stone. So, you successfully strike the stack of stone block five times, and we can get ourselves a sun-soaked sun breastplate or a tunic. Mm. Have to be the breastplate. Then you wish me wrong, you you clearly are broken. Nothing, nothing is impossible. Enter the focus.
stone quivers and breaks beneath your fists. You have the power to move the mountains that so you desire. There is nothing more I can teach you. I will take that. Fucking mean it. Where is it? There it is. Boink. Alright. Lynn. Oh, hello. I told myself that. If I ever made it here to the Hidden Master, I would learn everything I could from him. This is my chance, Lin Kor. I'm not going to let it slip away. Still, I fear the stone plow needless. I left early, before we were able to push the mounted scouts back. I'd feel better if you would check in with the Watch Commander for me. Oh, and if you run into the others, maybe you should tell them where the Hidden Master is. Yeah, okay, fine. Now let's go back to Stone Plow. here to Loon Mine and uh, then we'll go and see what they would like to do as well as talk to the other guys and say we found the hidden masters hidden master I should say there we go now the mantle is still out and about it's not so good Glad to hear that Lynn is well. Our defenses are holding for now. The Mantis continue to send their scouts over the wall, but they haven't got much further than that. What is Sidor? You have as been an asset to Stone Plow, Lynn Call. We may call upon you again in the future. Until then, you should speak with our flight master. He will take you wherever you need to go. Free of charge. Well, that's kind of you, that guy. The dragon went down. Roll down. further away. Ken Ken is over there, whilst Kang is over there. I'd like to go what to Ken Ken need? first. Yeah, I'm just staying at Zoo's watch. Should I keep you there? Yeah, you can keep him. Let's go. And then I get a nice little flight that I can zoom out of. And just watch everything go. sure at some point he will go in. And there it is. We should have discovered that now. No. That's okay. That's alright. No big deal. Straight through this place now, yeah. Hmm? The human will not wait. And we'll dally on. Now, it's weird to see that there are players out and about here, but none going on a huge raid from the bosses. That's interesting. Here we are. Down the crackling road again. Lynn is being a lot more like the starting area to the um starting area with the trolls a bit and then subsequently Zandalar so we do have a quest in there and it's just sat between the lines ah, well we're at Zoo's watch here I distinctly remember something interesting about this place but we'll have to see Everyone's overcome with despair. Tell me of your trouble. I can never leave your home. So Ken Ken. Let's go. Okay. Let's
this up, King Cat. This place is so sad. King Cat never seen a place so sad. Pandara no always welcomes travelers with open arms and nobody cares about this town's full of jerks. Everyone's so busy sulking they won't talk to King Cat at all. Can we find someone in town who will talk to us? Maybe normal Pandaren just hiding in the houses? So we need to speak with the inhabitants of Zoo's Watch and find someone who is willing to talk to you. Hmm. Well, this might take a while. Mayor Barrel Bottom. Welcome. Oh, that was easy. My nephew, Yimo, has arrived in search of a downer. When this wave of despair hit the town, he took it harder than most. He sat around for days, refusing to eat, just staring off into the horizon. Now he's wandered off towards the cliffs northeast of here, where the Thunderbirds nest at night. I'm sure he's drawn to be cheered for him. Yeah, we've got to look for Yimo Long Brown somewhere near Zoo's Watch. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, I don't know what's going on out here. It's like everyone's gone crazy. Seems like these guys in here are really caring about me. Yeah, so. Hmm. Have I lost another thing so far? Just one second. I hear a crane. Oh god, that crane is like despondent really. What's the point anyway? over here. Come and speak with Sunny. What is your hurry? Guess I'll just sleep for another day. And then she says, Oh, well, oh, I'm awake again. She lets out a deep sigh. Ever since this rain started, I just don't feel like doing anything. Keep the peace. Oh now that is something I can relate to on a personal level. So it seems like the rain is causing despair. Dagnan Downston for me to take for a free flight within the valley of the four winds. I have an idea. Someone else has come to bury my memory. Speak up. We toil in day in, day out for what? There's no Goodbye. point to running away from things. I was thinking, if I fly back to Gan, how much would that cost me? Welcome. Yeah, me. Two gold. No, it's not worth it. Two gold. I'll keep this one for now, but it's not really worth it. Alright, King Cat. One lady panda who's not crazy? This is worse than King Cat thought. Go now. Go. We don't meet the requirements for that quest. Hmm. Why am I to. Oh, right. I guess I need to go and find Yemo. Let's go do that. Might as well go and try and find Yemo. And see if they're. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, but they are overcome with feelings of utter hopelessness. Now, that's not good. They let out a long sigh. Let me guess, my aunt sent me. Yeah. Ever since the storm began, I've just been tired. Not physically. soul is exhausted, worthless, hopeless. I imagine it's what one feels when a mate leaves them for someone like a f with a rounder belly, but I've never had a mate, so how would I know? How can I claim to know anything? I'm worthless to everyone, but these thunderbirds at least they'll have a good meal out of me. He sighs deeply and continues staring off into the sky. It doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Hmm. Let's bring him back. Okay, you're wasting your time, you're not going anywhere. Uh, so we can either choose to say, please, Yemo, your aunt's way of sick about you, and you have your whole life ahead of you, and I think you're going to get the aunt card. Is she really worried about me? I doubt it. Uh, and you have your whole life ahead of you? What is life, anyway? A series of disappointments. Oh, my God, right, I don't have time for this. Move your ass or I'll make it for you. <laughs> I have to roll him. Alright, fair enough. Stop it, I'm waiting for the 
from the bush to tell me, nah, you know what? I'm not about that life. Oh no. Let me get these stuff up here. There we go. Come on, sausage. Save me from myself or whatever. Oh, dear. Just to kick up the pants and sort of them while I've kicked them halfway across that field, but that doesn't seem to be enough. Alright. Tell me of yourself. I can't believe you were actually going to do that. That's despair is worse than I ever imagined. I cannot thank you enough for bringing me back here. You're welcome. He's an ungrateful bastard, but you know, I'm going to get this Nord breath help. All of this started with our parliaments. In a single day, all of the water retreated down into the earth. When there was no more water in the ponds, it began to fall from the sky. Despite endless torrents of rain, the ponds do not fill. It's as if the land itself thirsts and cannot be quenched. Now the ponds birth horrific manifestations of despair. Elementals made of water from the sky and salt from the earth. The tears of Pandaria. Hmm. Gotta kill a couple of weeping hobbits. May your days be By all for. means. I'll put the hat on. And then we'll be off. Right. Ken Ken has got something for us too. Alright, Ken Ken pretty sure he knows what's wrong with Pandaria. Got old. Oral hosen remedy that would do the trick. We need to mix honey, fish oil, and salt. Ken Ken saw lots of beehives in the trees around town, and there must be fish left in the dry ponds. I just use salt. The name I know where the little ponds stay. Yeah. Yes, I know exactly where to find some. Let's get started then, shall we? An old recipe from a hosen. And here's a weeping horror. Whoops. Can't be why that's here.
was another chunk of honeycomb over there. Main, main slick honeycomb. Interesting. That. And that. And that. And then this. Oh, there's tons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. Six more weeping horrors. of harmony or spirits of harmony I should say are they very useful oh, the fact that we haven't told them that we found the hidden masters they've just gone oh yeah 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 we'll listen to your shit alright anyway oh, hello. thank you druid in time we can take our land back from this coast alright so we got a couple of things here with our grip on the province loosening Sarok from the wilds has already moved in to the cave just north of town. Most of our hunters are face down in their own tears, so the Sorok just walk in here like they own the place and grab whatever they want. I want to send a message that Zeus Watch is not to be crossed. Will you be my messenger? So we need to go and kill ten wild scale Sorok or wild scale herbalists in Zeus province. We'll get ourselves a haunted locket or shah haunted locket. Which will give us more spirit and crit strike, but less haste and mastery. Mm. Oh, I hope to see you again soon. Borderlands. Bonfires are surprisingly effective at discouraging beasts from wandering out of wilds. We have three along the border to the southwest, which we normally keep lit at all times. Nobody's been there for days, though, and the fires must be out by now. It's only a matter of time before the wilds creep in and overtake the land we have kept safe for centuries. Please, reignite the bonfires. They're critical in keeping the province safe, and there are all there are memorials to the founders of our way of life. We need to light the memorial flame of Zoo, the memorial flame of Rin, and the memorial flame of Po along the southwest borders of Zoo province. Farewell. Absolutely, let's get that going. We also need to hand in this one from Ken Ken. What? Can't believe Ken Ken did not think of this sooner. It's the one thing that can ruin his day. Okay. Pandaren got a case of the spooky dukes. Dukes get scared sometimes. They want to come out. Poor, fluffy, mopey dopes. Must be ready to explode by now. This is just the thing to bring them out. That makes Pandaren happy for sure. Just like old Grandma used to say, can't throw. If you can't go. Alright, now we need someone to test this on. Okay. You, 
Get over here, mopesy. Ken Ken got just the thing for you. Who? Me? Sure, it's not like things could get any worse. I doubt. Here, drink this. His guts churn violently. Uh, what have you done to me? Feeling better now? Oh dear. No. <laughs> Ken Ken, I feel like you've made it worse. Okay, so that not work. Now that Chia Chen Ken Ken up, the Pandan is still sad. We try another old Hoisin remedy. This time we go back even further than grammar. Way, way back to the ancient times. Hoisin still do this sometimes, mostly at parties. Ken Ken got woodworking to do. You bring him teeth, not yours, big ones like a panther would have. Oh, and some paint. May, may know where to find some, so we need to collect 18 huge panther fangs and one jar of pigment. And we get ourselves some hand wraps. Oh, this is strange. some things to do then. So off we go. First things first, I feel like we need to get these wild scale Sorlock put in their place. I remember these looting lizards from some of the uh, what's it, Mobushan Palace. That's all I remember of them, most at least. There's one. Let's get him. discovered Crest Fang Wilds apparently. This specific cave system has been copied and pasted a couple of times. Expensive item. 100 gold. Very nice. 
going to say in the rain, but let's stop for a moment. Wait for it. Now it's raining again. Some crass around stalkers. We're going to have to kill them. the next one. There it is. The Memorial Flame of Zhu. on that one. No fangs on that one either. I like this one. Ruins. Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. If anybody does know the correct pronunciation of this province, do let me know. Um, have we killed all of them? You know, I think we might have. I think we might have killed them all. Let's 
Just sitting there. Okay. Let's go around the per the um, perimeter, I guess. See if we can add. Truly is amazing when you think about it, the amount of references to like World of Warcraft have used over the years. I just realised this is called Lights of Sadness. Still no? Oh my god, this is why I'm trying to be serious, man. Can you just give me some fucking teeth? Respawn. start the entire quest there. That would have been terrible. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it would make the thing of dropping them versus spawning. It would have been pretty bad. Okay. We will talk to May first, because she seems to have more sense. Tell me of your travel. Securing the province, thank you. You should teach those savages to know their boundaries. Fuck I hope yeah. To see you again soon. Borderlands, thank you. Zoo province serves as a corridor from the upper tier of the valley down to the sea. Keeping the province safe requires daily efforts in maintaining a border against the savage Krasarang wilds. Travel safe. Awesome. Ken, Ken. It's hard at work carving something out of tree bark. This is going to be great, you'll see. All right. Just in time. Well done. Look, he holds up a carved wooden mask with a ridiculous face. Now we put the finishing touches and we got a guaranteed fun machine. <sighs> okay. No one can be sad when they're wearing a mask like this. Now who can we test it on? <laughs> oh dear, look who's back from the shifts. What was that stuff? It went through me like bad tear. Perfect. Come here, buddy. Sorry about last time. Put this on. Fine. Whatever. Hand it over. Aha. That's a shark. Oh, the Hosanity. Get it out of here. Ken Ken's too smart to die. I feel... I feel happy. So much, brave heroes. I'll tell stories of you, of Thundercall the Mighty and Ken Ken the Fearless. Yeah, the Fearless. 
sounds good. Well, that was unexpected, come to think of it. Now Ken can remember why Hosen used the masks in the first place. The legend about the Monkey King said he used the mask to cure old Pandaren Emperor Shao Hao when he was too sad to lead his people. They then buried the mask with all its sadness in the ground. We should use the mask one more on we should use the mask on more Pandaren, but instead of putting sad away in ground, we're gonna punch its butt. Let's do this. We need to use Ken Ken's mask to cure eight despondent wardens of Zoo from Zoo's Watch. We'll get ourselves some leggings. Oh no. Now the braces that I got, I feel like I will put on. Wherever they are. Um, where's Ken Ken's mask? There's the braces. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to run out of space. <laughs> All right. Let's use this mask. I'll pop the mask under the hot bar here. There's a manifestation of despair. Stitch cord of the wave crest there, that's quite interesting. Hello. saving Pandaren, but the land is still sad. Look, rain is not stopping at all. He shakes his tiny fist at the sky. Same. How many more butts we got to punch before we fix this town? The sky darkens in response. Hmm. Is that Nemo's kid over there? Ooh. Ken Ken squints against this increasing torrent of rain. It is. He's at the well, and he's not looking so good. Ken Ken got a bad feeling. Exercise the shower of despair energy from the Nemo Long Brown. We'll get this thing in return. What the Shah Nasties are popping out everywhere. We've got to take care of them first.
I? I that be true. You risked your life to save me twice now, and I had only treated you with disdain and shamed beyond comprehension. Please forgive me. My mind was not my own. Should he ever need aid of any kind from a handful of turnip seeds to a volley of arrows, know that Zoo's watch will provide. For now, I must direct my attention to rebuilding the village. There is much to be done. You may rest here if you like, but we will not accept any more help. Did it, Thundercall. That was some good uh, butt punching back there. So he tells Ken Ken that's not the last of the sads there. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's hand in that quest there. Nice job, Ken Ken. You did some good work out here. Monastery always tell us to leave a place better than we find it. And we've received a bit of Ken Ken's mouse on a family table. Oh, it's a toy. And that is the quest line for Zoom's Watch. a decent time as ever to uh, stop, although there is one more quest. Hey. Greetings. Into the wilds. Deep in the wilds of the southern coast where the Krasarang River meets the sea rests the Temple of the Red Crane, home to the great Chi Ji and his most devout followers. They should be told of what's happening here. What happened here, I should say. If you're headed that way, I have a favor to ask. We often send supplies to the temple, but our last courier has not returned. Please look for signs of him as you travel. Where the road forks at the Dajani River, you'd have gone north. Where you reach the temple, find Koro Mistwalker. So we need to locate the missing zoo watch courier in the north area of the Dajani River, then continue on to the temple of the Red Crane and speak to Koro Mistwalker. Remember that May your days bring you gold. Now, there is nothing else here for us to do. So we continue on. And, hey, that's just where we need to go next. So, we'll get ourselves on the road. And then, we will rest. We've done a lot of work, good work today, actually. We've pretty much done everything in the Valley of the Four Winds, if we cut out this extra bit. There's also the Nessing, Nessing Wary Safari that I do want to try and touch on at some point. But these are the middle areas we haven't really seen much of. Haven't done many quests that way. Uh, both Valley of the Four Winds and the Krasarang Wilds are between 86 and 87. And we are 60% of the way through our level probably have this and a lot of other areas around here to explore. Um, there will be plenty for us to do, I'm sure. And then from there, we move up to Kunrai Summit. From there, the Taoyuan Steps and the Dread Road. We then also, at some point in the future, will have the Isle of Thunder itself to contend with. And that won't be this this week or next week. It'll be several weeks in the future. For now, we remain here just outside of Zoo's Watch. And that's where we'll end it for today. Thank you again, everybody who's gotten this far. I appreciate the ever-loving shit out of you. Stay safe.